everyone, I'm Hani Rose Permale, a document presenter for Group 14 of ICC Tikainta, and I'm going to discuss our research project titled Daily Time Record for Tracking and Monitoring Patient System. It consists of six members. They are the Bidbers, Edmond Habudjong, Patrick Jean Malaubi, Hani Rose Permale, Maria Hazel Bajilla, and Adrian Arcilla and it was submitted and presented to our professor, Mr. Romel de Salia. Chapter 1. Background of the Study As the world tries to adjust up with the current crisis happening brought by the pandemic, information technology students are faced with the challenge to come up with more innovative ideas while also considering the benefits for humanity. Daily time record for monitoring system are based on the idea of delivering medical services efficiently which gives medical professionals reduced time spent on keeping and tracking records of their patient. This record system can produce and exhibit different referrals for patients to get better advanced attention while delivering a centralized database for keeping and tracking medical history of patients that are needed. This advanced monitoring system will give an excellent delivery of medical services. Statement of the problem General problem The enormous dimensions of the current pandemic challenge. Traditional models of keeping and tracking medical history are very resource intensive, while this daily time record system is already running in several countries. It can deliver more efficiently and secure but was not accepted well in small medical institutions due to starting costs. These are the specific problems. Number 1. Usage of cards, paper documents for tracking and keeping records for new patients in medical institutions resulted in a lot of unnecessary paperwork that can be misplaced or not protected. Number 2. The procedures on manual record will trigger congested file distribution and storage. Number 3. Too much time consumed for manual record. Number four, privacy of patient's medical history. Scope and limitation. Scope. In this paper, we focus on evaluation of a patient's medical record only, not with the full operation of the hospital. Limitation. This study was delimited to those who have access and authorized medical personnel. Also. The proponents have no intention of collecting data for future use. Objective of the study General objective The main goal of the proposed project is to provide a system that will create an efficient tracking and monitoring patient's record for quickly medical response not only for potential COVID but also with other types of patients who have symptoms of any infectious ailment. These are the specific objective. Number one, to automate the existing manual patient's record system. Number two, to reduce and minimize the time spent on a traditional record system. Number three, to keep daily track of the medical approach to the patient. Number four, to keep computerized confidential records without rebundant entries. Number five, to have an accessible and user-friendly updated database. Significance of the study Technology has been flourishing for the past 10 years. It has been convenient to most features of humans' day-to-day -day life. So why we don't use it to assist our public and private health sector in reduces their workload? By performing this project, the proponents are dedicating their time to produce a timely daily time record for monitoring the patient system that will greatly assist medical professionals in providing the professional services conveniently. Also, not all patients want to be suspected of their privacy because of their worry of the aftermath when other people criticize their illness. This system ensures the privacy of all the patients by encrypting all data going in and out of the database of medical facilities. Chapter 3. Risk Analysis Here is shown the type of risk and how is it rate. The type of risk, financial, technical, operation and maintenance, quality control, design, external, completion, and project, and it all rates as pipe. 
Cause Analysis Here is shown the cause and the benefits. In cause, hardware, software development, employee trainer, ad maintenance cost, and the benefits is real-time monitoring patient, less employees, and increased productivity. The SWOT analysis, strength, will be used to tracking and monitoring patient, easy to use interface and friendly user, organized staff schedule, helps locate patients who wander away from their room, weakness, high cost, staff needs training, add maintenance cost, opportunities, can upgrade features of the system, high demand during pandemic, threats, criticism of new implementing system, strong competition from other tracking and monitoring patient system. Project schedule. In this table, it shown the time or schedule of our project when it starts and it finish. Human resource management. It consists of one leader, one programmer, and a three members. Chapter 4 Data flow diagram and system flow chart. Here is shown how to log in, add a new user, and a new patient's record. System features. The, these are some of the features that daily time record for tracking and monitoring patient and nurse had to offer easy access patient tracking software you can also monitor the number of rooms you have available at a given time easy reach and easy accessibility anytime and anywhere top security don't have any kind of payment subscription spend less time commuting to clinics organize top schedules and employee and patient prioritize Real-time monitoring and tracking of employees with the help of further work as it continuously tracks their working. And last one, a patient tracking app allows floor nurses to identify a patient's location straight from the patient tracking software. Development tools. These are tools that use for doing a system. In front-end technologies, Microsoft Visual Basic .NET. And in back-end technologies, Microsoft Access Project Requirements The kind of device and application used for development In hardware requirements, desktop or laptop Any brand of device For coding and system development Mouse Keyboard In software requirements, Windows 7 OS Operating System for our server development Visual Basic Studio 2015 Visual Basic Studio is the main core of our system. Microsoft Access for database and Microsoft Word used for documentation. Chapter 5 Project Testing Plan Testing of the system is carried out as a parallel activity together with the system development and implementation. Each web paper a module in a code model of this application. Therefore, each page which is written in codes had to be tested in isolation where the pages are strung together integration. Testing was also carried out to ensure that the outputs of one, pib, one web page is compatible and consistent with the inputs required by another related page. This strategy consists of a series of different tests. The primary purpose of this test is to uncover the system in limitation and measure its full capabilities. A list of various plan tests and a brief explanation of them follows. Project Test Results The project test results were focused on the behavior of the system. User scenarios were executed against the system as well as screen mapping and error messages testing. Overall, the system tests the integrated system and verifies that it meets the requirements defined in the requirements documents. User's Manual For the first time, an authorized users of monitoring system 
make sure to create an account with administrator privilege. Adding patient's data. Log in your username and password. Click patient button. Add patient's details, such patient number, name, room number, and contact number. Adding user's account. Only authorized personnel will be allowed to use the system as system administration drawer. Adding user's account. Only authorized personnel will be allowed to use the system as system administrator for endorsement and approval. First, login administrator account. Second, go to user's page. Third, add the following details such as employee number, full name, username, password. Once you have an administrator level of account, you can now add, edit, or delete data based on requirements. Installation instructions. Upon receiving the system installer, whether through download of this installer, first thing to make sure that the hardware targeted for installation meets at least the minimum requirements and has a stable internet connection. Here are the steps. Download method. First, after downloading the system installer, double click on the file. Second, press yes to install the system. Third, after installation, reboot your computer. This installer. First, insert the this installer onto the disk drive. Second, once the disk drive reaches the disk installer, follow the on-screen menu. Third, wait until the installation has finished. Fourth, reboot your computer. Chapter 6, Conclusion The study provided evidence to show the importance of the daily time record for monitoring system in our medical field. We have an existing rhyme record used by the majority of hospitals and health centers but mostly have had no exposure to proper timekeeping tools. Thus, implementing a daily time record per monitoring system is integrated with an advanced timekeeping system that provides security and convenience to administrators and users. Recommendation Effective time record and monitoring in our medical personnel has the potential to increase productivity, limit burnout, and improve both professional and personal tasks and duty. Strategies for improving time management from medical literature may improve health workers' time management habits. Effective time record and monitoring can increase productivity, help deliver better patient care to more patients, give you more time to listen properly to colleagues, and accelerate your career advancement. Hello, in this part, I will walk you through on how to navigate to our system. First, we use Visual Studio Community 2015 to accomplish this project. We use the traditional style of coding to our system and we use MS Access as a database. We will run now at the system. Upon running, the login window will pop out. You can now enter your username and password. You can also click the show password box to see if you input the correct password you can now press login upon logging in you will be directed to the home page you can now search for the registered patient using their patient number information like patient name room number and contact number will be shown in patient tab you can input new patient information I will now try to input patient number 17. I'll just make up a name and put patient number 10. Room number is 401. 
and I'll just put random phone number. Now click add button and click OK. You can all see that the patient we added was included in the roster. Going to the add logo tab, you can see that the roster will clear. Add update and delete button. On report tab, you can also see the patient's roster in printable format. For user tab, you can add, edit, or delete the list authorized users of the system. You can also view the username but not the password. You can now click log out once you are done with your tasks. You can also exit the system right away.